Hello, I'm Dr. Lee, uh, Sung Hun Lee from International Christian University. Uh, in the past video, we saw how to open the file and how to zoom in and zoom out uh, a long file. Now, uh, let's look at all these colors that we see. Uh, first, we see this red line, the vertical red line, actually indicates the point where of the time in a recording. So currently, uh, the point of this line is 0 0.60 second in the recording. If I click somewhere to the right, uh, you will see the number change uh, to a higher number. So now we see it as 0 0.687470. And if I click somewhere in the back, it becomes 1.55 seconds. So now you can see this uh, vertical line, the top number, red number in the, on the uh, vertical line uh, indicates the time in the uh, uh, sound file. Next, let's look at a uh, uh, blue line that's in the bottom panel. So in the previous video, I mentioned that uh, two panels, once you open a prod uh, sound file, the top panel is uh, called the waveform panel. The bottom panel as shows uh, all this different analysis. Now we can see these black lines here, and these black lines are called spectrograms. So uh, how do you control for these spectrograms? Uh, there are several ways to do it, but uh, first uh, let's go to the top uh, uh, selections, and there is a um, button called spectrum, and let's say show spectrum is unchecked. Let me uncheck it. By default, it's checked when you open the prod, but let me uncheck it. Then it's gone. Nothing changed to the sound file. It's just like uh, we are not seeing the spectrogram on uh, spectrum analysis. And then now we see it uh, once you show. Then there's a blue line here. What is this blue line? This blue line is uh, called pitch and as you can see, when you go to the pitch, show pitch is selected. If you unselect show pitch, then the blue line is gone. Let's click the blue line, uh, show a uh, pitch again, and then we see the blue line. And on the right of the analysis panel, what you see is now uh, the maximum and minimum of the pitch uh, that's being represented. So you see it from 30 Hertz to 300 Hertz. So if you click some part of the pitch, it shows on the right in blue, blue line on the right in blue, it shows uh, the estimate value of the pitch at that particular point. And what we know is it's 124.6 Hertz. Now let's look at a lower pitch here on the right side. And now we see the number getting lower to 77.28 Hertz, right? So the blue line and the blue number on the right uh, show is related to pitch, are related to the pitch. Now, another thing that you can see in this panel is the uh, yellow uh, curve here. And this yellow curve is related to uh, the representation of intensity. So let me uncheck show intensity. Now it's gone. Once I show intensity, then uh, the line, the intensity line is in yellow. And then the numbers are in light green, light green um, marked in decibel. Another useful phonetic measure acoustic measure that uh, we use often is four months and uh, by default four months are unchecked let's check uh, show four months and what you can see here is uh, now there are these three lines uh, roughly three lines that are being represented and uh, this is from the bottom first four months second four months and the third four months in red color so four months are in red and if you click four months uh, and want to go to the right, there's no value attached to it. Actually, four month value is shown in on the left. So pitch and intensity on the right, four month on the left. Uh, that's what you can see. And uh, the maximum and minimum of four month that you can, uh, or like just in the spectrum is uh, zero to 5,000. 
in this particular panel, right? So, and the uh, point that I clicked right now in the second format, the value for that is 2,576 Hertz. The third format on, in the similar spot is 3,500. And the first format is not being represented well, but it's uh, 295. So this is basically uh, the first format here is uh, not calculated or miscalculated due to various reasons, uh, but a prod, uh, at the moment uh, with the prod setting that I have, uh, it's not uh, well represented. So at the moment uh, in this video, uh, we just learned uh, how to uh, represent or show spectrum, pitch, intensity, and formant. And uh, you learned that there are these four different buttons that control for it. And what you can, uh, what you should remember is pitch is in blue and the blue numbers on the right represent the pitch. Intensity is in yellow. The light green color represent uh, intensity. The red dots here uh, correspond to formants and the formant value can be found on the left. And the spectrum value from zero to 5,000 are also on the left. And uh, what we can see is uh, uh, the spectrum spectrogram. Everything in the spectrogram is in black, which means this black number represents this. So color coding has some meaning in Pratt. So, and it's easy and intuitive. 